Hi again. Those who managed to catch up with G5 will have noticed something rather strange. While Equestria exhibited a wide array of different species throughout Generation 4, including everything from chimeras to hydras, and even the mighty rock mythology, G5 has very little of this variety. Most current hybrid species are relatively small, exhibiting a pegasus-like pair of wings or a unicorn horn. Indeed, even a lot of the pony tribes outside of the main forms, such as the Crystal Ponies, Kirin, and yes, even the Bat Ponies, are seemingly absent. There are apparent exceptions to this. The early concept art for G5 includes sea monsters, and the Make Your Mark series has introduced dragons, implying there might still be a variety of hybrid life forms outside of Equestria. But inside, there has quite clearly been a massive change in the ecology of the land. The disappearance of so many animals in a relatively short period of time can only mean one of two alternatives. A. Mass relocation of such life forms to distinct and secure regions. Or B. A mass extinction event, affecting only Equestria. As of now, we've insufficient evidence for either. However, for this video, we're going to focus on the latter explanation. If Equestria did experience a mass extinction, what could have caused it, and how can the survivors all exhibit the same traits as two of Equestria's main pony tribes? Regarding that latter point, I actually approached the United Equestrians Discord server on this very matter. Mostly because it's literally run by MLP theorists. So far we've managed to iron out at least three theories. It could be, due to Twilight's crystals protecting Earth Pony, Pegasus, and Unicorn magic, any hybrid life form that tended towards those forms of magic would be prioritized or protected by those crystals. This would explain why such creatures were more likely to survive during the event. Other theories include the possibility that different tribes protected whatever species most closely aligned with them physically, or maybe some of them were pets that escaped after the extinction and survived in the aftermath. Said theories would certainly explain why the hybrid species that survived all had either wings or a horn. But what actually caused the extinction in the first place? So far I've narrowed it down to five possibilities. High on that list, it's possible the blocking of Equestria's magic had far more catastrophic effects than previously expected. Especially since many hybrid animals rely on magic in order to retain their form. The main issue with this is we don't actually know if Twilight transferred all of Equestria's magic to those crystals, or whether she simply contained the magic of the three tribes within them. If it's the latter, then the extinction is very likely unrelated. Alternatively, it's also possible the crystals seen in Bridalwood were partly responsible, affecting the environment in a similar manner to those of the Crystal Empire, albeit with negative consequences. The only other possibilities I could come up with are magical natural phenomena such as conjunctions, spiritual life forms such as Windigos, and the standard non-magical solutions. And that's all we currently have. A big thank you to the folks of the United Equestrians Discord server for their feedback and suggestions. Also, it seems other people in that server might be just as interested in that topic, so expect further videos from them in the near future, which I will be linking in the comments section. Hopefully this provides a sufficient summary of the topic, and let me know if you have any further theories. Thank you all for watching, and very best.